Right, so now after unboxing our sensor I'm going to set up the speed app. Um, so I've got my iPhone here, let me just fire that up. And you can see it says here which of the apps on the iPhone store you need to install. So go for next, set up my profile, do I want to share with my health app? Yeah, can do that. Um, turn all categories on, have another look at that later on. Allow that. Okay, so there's some settings here. Um, I'm going for English, uh, male, I'm five foot seven. Look at that there. Uh, my weight is about 12 stone at the moment, which is one of the reasons I'm using this. I need to get that down to 11. So what's 12 stone? 168 pounds. Um, let's go back away here. Just put in a date. So now connect with my sensors. So I have to take this and give it a wag. And you see a little blue LED light starts flashing there. If I just put that down and go to the sensors area here, add new sensor, Wahoo speed sensor, save sensor. Okay. Now let me find the cadence sensor. I assume we just do the same with that. Yep, so that's now flashing. Um, so we go for, all oh right, uh, indoor trainer, indoor cycling. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, so add a new sensor, cadence sensor. Gosh, this is remarkably easy. Save sensor, same again. Okay, just click on the done button there. And it's now asking me to record a workout. So clearly I'm up in my office at the moment and I need to go and fit these to the bike. Um, so if I just click start that, only while using the app. Cool. So that's what we've got. We've got cadence, heart rate. I don't have the heart rate monitor. We've got speed, workout time and distance. Uh, I assume they're adjustable. Let's just have a look. Go into settings. Uh, it's any brightness that's there. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, I was hoping I might be able to put time on here. But that's okay. All right, so I'm just going to pause that. Stop it and we'll go and fit these to the bike now.